Good morning. It is Saturday here as I'm recording this video and we are heading to the farmer's market. It's just Serena, Robbie, and me today. And I thought it would be smart. I always appreciate the days when I add dinner to the crock pot so that I don't have to worry about it later. But I'm trying a new recipe today. It's called slow cooker hot honey chicken. And I've got all the ingredients laid out here minus the chicken. It's still, um, I haven't gotten it out yet, but I went ahead and measured out the dry ingredients, the spices and the seasoning. So we've got cayenne pepper, Hungarian paprika. Um, I didn't have smoked paprika like the recipe called for. So we're just going to go use what we have. And then I have garlic salt and brown sugar. So we're going to add the chicken to the crock pot, add the spices on top. And then to that, we're going to add the vinegar and the honey. And we're going to add a stick of butter. Now I am doubling this recipe because I like to cook a lot to have leftovers. So I will let y'all know at the end of the day, how this recipe turns out. And of course, as always, I will link the recipe below. The kids and I had so much fun this weekend, and I hope that you will enjoy this video that we've put together for you. If you haven't already, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel. It helps so much. We are trying to hit our first goal to get 1000 subscribers and we're getting closer every single day. So please subscribe, like this video, maybe leave a comment down below. As I'm editing this video and working on this voiceover, looking at all these spices looks pretty intimidating, but the heat was really not overwhelming. It was just the perfect amount of heat in this recipe. Also, don't be alarmed by this honey. It was a little bit crystallized, but that's fine. Honey is still fine even in this state. Boondock Farms is about 30 minutes away from where we live, and recently the kids and I, along with some friends of ours, attended a music festival that was hosted out here on this farm. They had camping available as an option that you could also stay overnight after the music was over. We, we did, and we had so much fun. So when I saw they were having this um, event on their farm, we wanted to come out and check it out so we really had a good time visiting with the vendors and seeing what some of these local artists and artisans had it was really really cool everyone was so nice and we picked up some really good products
It's probably marinara sauce. Is it good? Well, we officially made it home from the farmer's market. It was so much fun. Boondock Farms is one of my new favorite places. Thank you for existing and bringing so many cool vendors together and, you know, just being available to the community. It's so, so great. You know, for those of us who love to support local, thank you so much. And friends, I just want to share with you the things that I picked up today. Let me flip you around and let me show you what I got. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this bread. It's a sourdough bread and it's got these beautiful peppers and olives sliced and placed on top. It's kind of hard to see because I think it got warm in the car. So it's got a little bit of like steam on the inside, a little bit of condensation, but I'm so excited about this. I've always wanted to try this style of bread and I think we're going to serve it with dinner tomorrow. So if you want, let's see. Heart Pine Farms, the bread shop. And they're located in Beach Island, South Carolina. Anyway, I'm pretty excited about it. The ingredients are sourdough starter, sugar, salt, yeast, bread flour, and oil. And it just looks beautiful. I cannot wait to try this. From inside the market at Boondock Farms, we got two dozen eggs. They're so pretty. And we also got a hot pepper bacon jam. We have had this before. It's one of our favorite items. It, this is so good on hamburgers. And the lady in the shop said that it's also very good on chicken and pork chops. So um, yeah, we're pretty excited to have restocked on this. Another vendor that we visited, and I don't know how to pronounce this. I should have asked them while we were there, but Bill Yu, family farm in Aiken, South Carolina, and they have all kind of products made from honey where you could pick five different items for $15. So I picked up this lip balm. It's the honey flavor. It's, I actually have it on right now and I love it so far. Made with beeswax. And then this whipped body butter is a vanilla lavender scent. And let me tell you, it smells so good. I love body butter. There's the sugar scrub, the lemon honey. This also smells so good. I'm excited about that. That came with like a little scoop spoon. And then this lotion bar, oatmeal, milk, and honey. This also smells amazing. Cannot wait to try that. And then the last item is this goat milk soap, the patchouli amber. They had so many different scents. And I do love patchouli. And this one, it smells so good. And I love the bee. So cute. I'm excited to give all of these a try. And I'm going to link, I'm going to link as many things as I can in the description box below in case anyone wants to check out any of these small businesses. It's so good to shop local and support our local farmers. I just love that. And I just wanted to give this check. I wanted to give this a chicken just a little check. It smells really good. It's looking good. Mm, I cannot wait. I'm sorry for the external noise. Our house is located pretty close to an interstate. And so when I'm outside, there does tend to be a lot of that noise. Anyway, I haven't given an update on my garden and I thought today would be a nice day to do so. 
for those of you who aren't aware I have a container garden and I've got videos on that I will link them below if you want to check those out so anyway let me show you how the garden's doing it is three o'clock today and my garden is a little thirsty so I need to most of it looks okay but some of them are looking a little thirsty but I just wanted to update and show you so here in this in our little strawberry bed we actually do have some strawberries they're looking pretty cute our stegosaurus he's happy as ever down there and you know we still have some blooms happening here and you know doing pretty good Got three little babies three little baby strawberries coming around and then this pot wasn't here in my last video my mom actually started these and gifted them to the garden and so she this is a pepper and it came in a variety pack so we're not even sure what kind of bell pepper it's going to be i think it could be like red green yellow purple orange we're not we're just not sure so we've got a bell pepper here and then this tomato and i think she said this was like a variety pack of seeds too so i don't even know what kind of tomato it's going to be <clears throat> but it's very happy got a little bloom coming on up here and then here we've got a, a single little mum blossom this one is also from my mom and it's two peppers from the same variety pack so it'll be a mystery a surprise when they start coming around there's another little mum pot down there and then all four of these containers um, one two three and four these all have tomatoes and there's some basil in there as well as that makes a good companion planting and then I'll talk about these um, structures in, in just a minute. In these, um, one, two, three, and four is four more tomatoes, a couple different varieties, some basil in there. We've got the sweet basil. And then this is a blue, let me see, African blue basil. I just thought that, you know, it would be nice to have a different variety of basil. It smells just like sweet basil and I love basil it's one of my favorite summer garden things and then in this pot here this is black-eyed Susans and they were so droopy they were like all sprawled across like coming all the way out so I added a support and I zip tied them to the support just very loosely just so they could stay upright and they're doing so well little black-eyed Susans I have these um, pinwheels they do blow in the breeze to kind of help deter pests from coming around so that's what those are and then over here in this front bucket I put two cucumber seeds and I've never grown cucumbers before but they're both doing really well they're looking really happy and healthy and you know they're starting to cling on to the support structure so that's nice that's new to me this year, so I'm pretty excited about those. And then in this little raised bed, I've got two jalapeno plants, and I I added some nasturtium seeds. I'm assuming that's what those are. I really don't even know. And then this came up. I don't even know what that is either, but I'm letting it be there. Out here in the back, I have three okra, and they're doing really well. They're all starting to get little baby okra. They'll be blooming soon. And okra blooms are my absolute favorite summer vegetable bloom in the garden. They are so pretty. I cannot wait to show you. If you've never seen them, they're gorgeous. I ordered these support structures from Amazon last year. And I will link them below because I like them so much. But it comes in, well, let me show you. Hold on. Okay, I hope this will make sense but you build the structure that you need by taking one pole and connecting it to the other they're pretty short and then this one you can connect two together like this could be the crossbar between say this one and another one over here so what i like about them is you can build them to be you know like this here I hope it's even making sense what I'm talking about but so I've got that you know the 
this pole here is connected to this one with the connector and that's fine and this is also connected with a crossbar to that one over there then I have the same thing here and here in this one bucket but what I really like about it is that you could add another layer up on top you know put a connector with another pole if you needed to so if you're like if this cucumber continues to climb up I can make that structure taller so that's really nice now in the tomatoes this year I'm trying it differently than I did last year but so here in this in each tomato bucket I have a one structure pole so well one structure but it's the two short poles connected together with the connector all right now this is linked across to the one next door one support pole to each bucket and then I'm zip tying very loosely the tomato over so it will have some support but it's not a full cage so I'm going to see how that does this year last year I had too, just too many poles going on it was just too cluttered I didn't like it so we'll see and if I need to add more support in here I can if I need to add more of the structures you know we'll see every year is a little different so I'm trying to I hope that makes sense just trying to do the best all right let me show you the berries I've got a robin back here hanging out in the yard all right I have not been back here yet today and my yard needs a little attention I've got to get out here and weed these borders between the grass and also in these beds I'll get to it I just haven't had time got our hydrangeas are doing so nice this year and then so if you missed my tour before I've got a pomegranate bush here it's new this season and I have not even planted it I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it I might just keep it in this pot for a while we'll see and then here I have a blackberry bush this year is the first year that it's producing fruit and it's doing so nicely I got some nice red berries they'll be turning black soon and we love those and then I've got these two blueberry bushes here waiting to be planted I'm gonna plant them in these two containers right here these planters are so big so here's what I'm doing let me show you I've got sticks in the bottom of each one and my plan is to fill them up with sticks in the bottom and cardboard and dirt that way it, these that way it won't take so much soil to fill them up because they're really large I don't know if you can tell on the video and then these two blueberries are already planted and they're doing pretty well they're looking very happy and healthy I've got a fig tree back here and I'm just going to leave it in the container until I really know where it's going to go and then look at this this is an elderberry bush it's actually a few of them kind of clustered together when I planted them they were so tiny I put the cage around them just so I would remember that that was something that I planted and not just a weed let me tell you if you go back and look at my first or second garden videos these were so tiny they've grown so much so I'm pretty excited about that We got home from the pool and we were so hungry we could not wait to eat I shredded up this chicken and mixed it with all of the spices and that honey y'all it came together so nicely oh my gosh this recipe is so good I hope you'll try it now it did get a little tiny bit overcooked my crock pot just cooks so hot 
I even had it set to keep warm by the time we went to the pool and it still just got a little bit overcooked, but it still was really good. So I can't wait to try it again and watch it a little bit more closely, but it turned out so well. All three of us really enjoyed it. And so did Olivia and Brandon when they had a chance to get some too. So I will definitely be adding this recipe to my recipe binder because it is a winner for sure. It is the next day and I am just got done getting ready for the day and I thought I would try out a couple more of these products that I picked up from the farmer's market and I thought I would take you along. Um, I'm going to be using the Lemon Honey Sugar Scrub. I'm going to wash my hands with it in the sink here. I've already kind of got, I uh, had the water running, it's warmed up a little bit. And then I'm going to follow it with that Vanilla Lavender Whipped Body Butter. I can't wait because that's, that's going to be so good. Here we go. So I'm going to use a little scooper that came with it. I'm just going to get one little scoop. Okay. Turn my water on. That look, my hands so soft. Wow. If you haven't tried a sugar scrub, you should definitely get some. Try to get some from a local person. That's always awesome. But this is really nice. All right. And here is the lavender vanilla whipped body butter. Cannot wait to try this. So just a little bit. Oh my gosh. That is luxurious to a T. Oh my gosh, it smells so good too. Okay, hands down, this is amazing. I wish you guys could feel this on your hands. This feels so good. Highly recommend. I love a good body butter. To finish off, I'm just gonna apply some of this lip balm, which I pretty much exclusively wear lip balm. I don't wear lipstick at all. I don't like color on my lips but I love for them to stay soft and not dry. <laughs> that is so nice. I love these products. I hope you enjoyed the video and tagging along with the kids and me over the weekend. Thank you so much for adding a dash of gratitude to your day. I'll see you on the next video.